Savannah. We will give people a couple more minutes to join in. We'll start at around or one more minute. As a reminder, this call is recorded. And if I could have someone do me a favor and share the uh, meeting notes, that'd be fantastic. Cool, thanks for sharing on the uh, chat. Can we also get someone to share it on screen? Cool, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. So we, so welcome to the next CNCF Telecom User Group. We have this call every uh, Tuesday at 8 a.m. Uh, we, uh, on, we also have another um, uh, Asia-friendly call. The Asia-friendly call occurs bi-weekly on Tuesdays at 8 a.m. GMT time. Uh, the first one, we also have, uh, we also participate in the CNCF Telecom User Group, which occurs every first Monday at 8 a.m. Pacific, and uh, every third Monday at 3 a.m. Pacific time, all on Zoom. We also so participate in the CNCF SIG Network, which occurs every first and third Thursday of every month at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, several major events have been postponed, uh, but a period will still be happening. So those include <coughs> KubeCon, uh, ONES, uh, NSMCon, and um, we're, ex we're expecting uh, ONES Europe to still be on in September in Falcon. KubeCon, CloudNativeCon, Boston is still be on in, in uh, November as well. Um, in terms of uh, in terms of announcements, uh, of course we have the NSM project page, which continues to get updated, and we have a new NSM operator, which has hit the community repo. Um, and so you are now able to. It's still in the in an alpha stage, but you're able to install NSM as an operator, or rather have an operator install NSM and uh, and help maintain your your systems. Uh, we'll see about getting a little bit more conversation on that soon. We have a social media community team. Um, Ashley, you're on the call, right? Yes, I am. Hi, everybody. So updates for the past week. It has been a slower week again, and naturally considering what's going on in the world at the moment. So just some updates there. As far as Twitter, we have gained an additional four followers, followed an additional three accounts, and had a total of 14 tweets and retweets. LinkedIn, we have gained one additional follower. So as far as what has been promoted, um, call reminders for the weekly calls, 
CNCF weekly webinars were getting promoted as well within that um, is the Cisco CNCF member webinar coming up next week. So if anyone's around to join that, then please do so. Also got some video recaps out there from previous meetings, promoted the NSM operator reaching its first release. So that was some exciting news to get out there. And then some general retweets from Dark AI with regards to their COVID-19 system tracker that they've got out there and some VMware open source blogs that we have promoted as well. As far as LinkedIn, we have been promoting the same original content as we have been through the NSM Twitter account. And the plan moving forward is just to continue tweeting about, um, you know, open source blogs out there, any updates with regards to any events coming up and trying to promote as many as possible that are switching to virtual meetings and gatherings, um, considering we all have to remain at home. So as far as NSMCon and KubeCon, all of that stuff has been um, put on hold until we have some further details there. And that's it for me. Thank you very much. And so we'll, uh, we'll work on generating more news to, uh, to eventually put out to everyone. So uh, thank you for, for all the hard work here as well. No problem. Cool. Um, with that, um, and so we've deferred the prospectus and sponsors sign up uh, for NSMCon EU 2020 and uh, things related towards that. So um, in terms of, uh, so right now the, the primary, uh, the primary focus is getting, is, is trying to, to get things uh, done for the next turn of the train so that we can uh, so we can have a strong uh, release when all these things uh, die down. So uh, today there is a uh, open agenda. Is there anyone who wants to bring up any topics? Okay, if there's no topics to be brought up, um, uh, I'll mention a little bit more about the operator. So the operator, if you, if you find the operator and I'll we'll post, we'll post the link on it on the agenda, uh, there's, uh, you're, able to ins you're able to install it, but make sure you go to the Git repo because it has additional instructions on how to complete the installation. So if you intend to go try it out, uh, and experiment with it, uh, please make sure you go look at the, uh, at the uh, GitHub repo. And um, if anyone has any, uh, part of the plan for that is to, to shift that repo. In, <coughs> excuse me. Is part of the plan is to shift that repo into the NSM uh, uh, community repos and to, and to start uh, building up the, uh, the CI and, and ramping up the system there to, uh, to make that path work. So um, in terms of uh, work that's currently being done as well, we also are working on integrating the, uh, the, C the DNS work with the, the Fanon uh, plugin. So DNS uh, is, tends to be a, uh, uh, a hard problem for many uh, for many solutions, and uh, so uh, we have a, a DNS plugin that uh, has been upstreamed to Core DNS, which is designed to help with some of those problems. And it's capable of performing a, a fan in of multiple upstream DNS, and has some more intelligence on how to deal with failures. Uh, part of the problem is DNS is written before the internet. And it really was, and so the concept of failures 
and uh, what to do when you have multiple upstream servers and so on were just uh, not even thoughts of when they were designing it, and understandably so. And so, um, so many, so many of these uh, behaviors and and, uh, and uh, gaps in the protocol have not uh, really been fixable because the protocol is also fine. And so, uh, Core DNS is able to to help in those scenarios. So that was that was a plug that was written by uh, by our community. Uh, do you remember who was the primary author behind that? By any chance? Um, I don't look like doesn't look like I have them on the call. But anyways, we also have uh, work being done towards uh, uh, towards improving WireGuard support as well. So one of the plans that we're that we're pushing towards is to have uh, tunnels work out of the box as well, uh, including connectivity to things that. Uh, uh, that are not running uh, PPP or uh, or OBS or so on, and so WireGuard is another thing that we're able to to add in there. Uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar with WireGuard, it's a layer three uh, tunnel, where it encapsulates uh, layer three packets, and uh, specifically IP packets. And so there's there's work being done there towards like we have a, a working uh, prototype and. There's work being done in order to, uh, in order to improve this, uh, in order to improve this performance, so that we can also get uh, our shared memory pass working good as well. And so those are some of the things coming down the pipeline that uh, that are actively being uh, worked on. Uh, and the final one is uh, getting all the open policy agent and, uh, and uh, identity stuff. Uh, so that it's uh, so that we we can start approaching a uh, production quality uh, release, um, and so with that, I don't have any other ma uh, major things to to report on uh, from the development side. Um, and so, if there's nothing else, then I will yield back uh, the rest of the time to the top of the hour. And um, yeah, for attending. Thank you, everyone, for attending, and we will. Uh, we will see you all here again uh, at uh, the same time next week. Uh, you all be safe and uh, take care of yourselves.